Welcome to another episode of Uncle Lim's Cooking. Today we will learn how to cook Milo fried rice. You know, uh, all Asian people in Asia like to eat rice. Without rice, Asian people will die. Eat rice is good for health. So here, this is thing. This thing is called a rice cooker. It can create rice using magic. Look at all this little little white white rice. So the very beautiful. Smell the rice aroma. The aroma of the rice give me orgasm. So the very delicious. Makes me so hungry. I want to eat some rice to gain plenty of energy. Rice contains a lot of energy. That's why Asian people are so diligent and so hardworking. You all should learn from Asian people and eat a lot of rice. Here is Milo powder. Milo is chocolate and malt powder. It is brown brown color. It is very tasty and addictive. Rice is nice. Milo is also nice. If we put rice and Milo together, it will become super duper nice. Now, the first step to make Milo fried rice is by scooping some rice out of the magical rice cooker. I tell you, rice is a very precious and valuable resource because rice farmers they put in a lot of effort to create all this rice. So. Before we cook, we must say thank you to the Mr. Farmer. Now we are in the kitchen. As you can see here, there are some kitchen appliances, such as the stove. So, Mr. Milo Powder, are you excited to be transformed into fried rice? You don't answer me means that you are super duper excited. I understand. Without further ado, let's start the process of cooking Milo fried rice. To start cooking, first we need to heat up the wok. To do so, we need to switch on the fire of the stove. To make that happen, see how I use my fingers. It is super duper easy. Even little baby also know how to do. Now, when you make sure all the water inside the wok evaporate already, prepare some cooking oil. What should you do with the cooking oil? It is very easy. Just pour some cooking oil into the wok. Cooking oil is very important because it brings out the fragrance from fried food. Yummy! So, what is the next step? Our mission is to make Milo fried rice. So, obviously we need to put the bowl of rice into the wok. Listen to that sizzling sound. Ta -ta 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 -ta. So sexy! Next, I bring out my high quality stainless steel spatula. So now, I will use the spatula and start frying the beautiful rice. Some of the rice will turn sticky and greasy and stick to the steel wok. But never mind, we will deal with that problem later on. Most importantly, we must make some very good Milo fried rice. Since we are now supposed to make Milo fried rice, we need to add in the most important thing, which is the Milo powder. And then we mix the rice and the Milo powder together in the wok. You see brown brown color and white white color. So the very beautiful. Now, 
use some common sense and start using the spatula to beat and fry the two things which is the milo powder and the rice together such a beautiful combination i am such an amazing cook Hiya! Now there is not enough rice already. If the rice is too less, it cannot satisfy my insatiable appetite. So, now let's add in more rice. And keep frying. To add in more taste and make the Milo fried rice taste more exciting, you can add in some salt or sugar. A little bit is enough. If you add too much, you might get diabetes or heart attack. So stay healthy. Here we have it, the cuisine of Milo fried rice. What a brilliant idea. I wonder why they haven't put this in our Malaysian restaurant menus. I swear it tastes super duper delicious and all of you should try it. Strongly recommended, very authentic Malaysian cuisine. We should promote this to all around the world so that our international audiences will enjoy Milo fried rice. Okay, so that is it for our current Uncle Lim's cooking video and recipe. I hope you, you all enjoyed this video and please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. Thank you.